Hi guys and thanks a lot for all the nice feedback for my last tutorial on Blender Hardops add-on and Substance Painter. And someone had a request so I decided to answer this with a tutorial. He wanted to know how to export the textures created with Substance and how to import it again in a Blender or Unreal Engine or Unity. And here it is. Perhaps you remember my Unity project for climbing ladders with an FPS player. Here it is, and I thought it would be a good idea to import the model we created with Blender and textured with Substance Painter 2 um, in, this, in this project. The scene has a default lighting, default skybox, and let's see how this comes out in, in this. So let's just rotate the player a little bit the camera just like this and yeah I think that's a good location to place my model into. Okay so let's search the FBX I created with Blender, the metal box FBX. Here it is and just drag it here into the models folder in my project Okay, and here's the model without normal map, without textures, but it seems to fit really nicely according to the size of the model. It contains three sub-models, the main box. Let's open this up. Okay, the plastic in insets the metal box and some buttons on the front of the model and each sub-model has its own material and will have its own textures. So all we need to do is to export these textures with Substance Painter 2. So let's open this. Here it is. Updated to 2.2 and let's open up our metal box. Here we go. Great. Okay, and now let's search for exporting the textures for Unity 5. Unity has different workflows for um, textures. The one is the metallic workflow and the other one is the specular workflow. Both leads to good results. I choose the specular setup. Then um, a diffuse map, it's called albedo, and a normal map, and a specular smoothness map is exported. I choose the directory of my Unity project and press export. And when I switch back to Unity now, then you can see it is already importing the textures for the materials. Let's open the material folder and here they are. For each submodel, three textures. Okay, and now let's select the metal box and drag and drop the diffuse into the diffuse slot, the normal map into the normals. Press fix now, because otherwise it will look strange. And choose specular setup and add the specular map into the specular slot. And this procedure can be done, or has to be done, for each sub-object. And this already looks quite nice and seems to work as expected. You can also see here the roughness we painted in in the last tutorial. Really nice. Okay, I will do this now for every sub-object for the rubber parts now. Again, just drag and drop into the according slots. Looks also great. Yeah. And the last ones are the buttons here. 
these small metallic buttons. Okay, and we're done. That's it. This looks nice in the scene view. Now press play to see how it comes out in game view. And that's also really appealing. So, I hope this helped. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here for the next tutorial.